For this activity, I'm going to show you how you can use your mouse to control the Google Earth environment by zooming in, zooming out, as well as several other features. So to begin with, we're going to go to another spot here. We're going to go to the Behringer Crater in Winslow, Arizona here. And it's going to take us through a series of searches here. And if I scroll down a little bit, you notice that there's several options to choose from. Yeah, I'm going to choose E here. You notice that there's the Behringer Crater here. And if I double click on E, it's going to take me right on into the crater there so that I can see that uh, much more clearly here. So I'm going to get rid of this balloon. I'm going to get rid of some of my labels by just clearing my search. And what you'll notice now is I've got a nice view of this crater from a meteor impact from many, many years ago. Now, to start, the first thing I'm going to show you is just how you can kind of move the Earth around using your mouse. And simply uh, to do that, just all you have to do is just click and hold your left mouse button. Notice my hand uh, icon changes. Looks like it's a fist now. It's kind of grabbing that. And what I can do is I can just click and hold and drag that Earth around to whatever direction or whatever place I'd like it to. So that allows me an opportunity to kind of center this image right in the middle of my view window here. Most mice these days come with the scroll wheel, and I find that very effective when you're looking at items in Google Earth. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and I'm going to roll my mouse wheel forward, and notice what it does is it takes and it will zoom in to the Earth view here. And if I roll my mouse back, it's simply going to zoom out. It's like using the zoom slider. A little bit easier because your, you know, your fingers are usually right there, and it's easy uh, to go in and out for a now there are little tips and tricks that you can use to zoom in and zoom out very quickly for example I can just double click on my on the screen here and that will zoom in to a certain level there in the Google Earth environment and to zoom back out I'm simply going to roll my mouse wheel back toward me and that's going to also zoom out of the image there Another thing that I can do is if I have a right mouse button, I can take and I can click on that. You notice as I roll forward, it's going to zoom out. And as I roll backward, it's going to zoom in. One of the nice things about the right mouse button is that notice as I move my mouse to the right, see how it starts to turn the image? If I move it back to the left, it kind of turns the image. So this gives me a little bit more control in terms of how I want that image to display on the screen there. So I can kind of move it back and forth to get the view. The other thing to notice about that right mouse button is wherever I click, that's the area that it's going to zoom into where if I'm using my scroll wheel like I am now, it simply zooms to the middle of that screen image there. So I like that right mouse button, holding that down and moving my mouse forward and back in order to get it to zoom and move that image as I see fit. One of the other cool features that I find on, on my mouse is that scroll wheel. Now most people don't realize that not only will it allow you to zoom in and out by simply rolling that, but most scroll wheels also are depressible, so you can click on them. And when I do that, if I click and hold my mouse button or my scroll wheel, one of the things you'll notice is that that actually allows me to tilt the earth over on its side. So I'm clicking down on my scroll button and holding it, and that allows me to zoom in and out. So as I roll back, it will take and lay the earth on its side. As I roll forward, it will take and, and bring it back to the normal position. And notice I can also, as I move right and left, it will also take and change the view of that image. So this is kind of like my look tool and my navigation controls and allows me to get a different perspective. So I'm pushing down on the scroll wheel. It's like I'm clicking and holding that scroll wheel down. And then I'm just moving my mouse back and forth and left and right to get that view. One of the other things that we can do is we can combine mouse with our keyboard. For example, if I hold down my shift key on my keyboard and I click and hold the left mouse button, what you'll notice is I get the same effect as if I'm holding down that scroll wheel. So for those of you that don't have a scroll wheel on your mouse or prefer not to use it, you can hold down the shift key on your keyboard and get those same type of effects. 
We can also use the control key in combination with the mouse. So if I hold down my control key and I click on my mouse, what you're going to notice is that it allows me to take and, again, set the earth on its side there. So that's similar to the look around tool there as I click and I move this from side to side. So there are many different combinations, mouse and keyboard strokes, that allow you to take and change the look and feel of the Google Earth scene that you are viewing. Now there's one other thing I'd like to show you here. You can actually change how your mouse uh, interacts with Google Earth by going to the Tools and Options menu. So I'm going to go back to the Tools and Options menu. So under the Tools menu item, go down to Options. And under Navigation, Navigation tab, what you'll notice is that I can actually adjust my mouse wheel. So if I'm not happy with how fast or how slow it is, I can take in this slider here and just adjust it in one direction or, to, or the other in order to increase or decrease the speed at which my uh, the Google Earth environment will zoom in. If I'm not happy with the directions that it's going, as I move up, it zooms in and so on, I can actually take those and change those. So if that's not uh, natural for you, you can actually take and, and change those so that they're exactly the opposite. So if you need to modify some things with your mouse, you can come here and to the navigation pane under the Tools and Options menu and change those.